Well, hello everyone and welcome back to a, another episode of A Pipe Story, brought to you by Pipes and Pickin'. And I've got another LaRocca here today. <clears throat> As you can tell, we're going through all of my LaRoccas here in this little mini-series. But uh, this is a LaRocca Donna, and I picked it up from uh, Cup of Joe's. Um, special pipe to me, because it's the first new pipe I ever bought. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bent apple. I tend to like it. Um, got a nice clear acrylic stem. What it did have, though, is it came in the middle there. It had like a, a black paint or some kind of coloring on it. That looked really cool, but the more I used it, pipe, sent a pipe cleaner down it, it rubbed off. And I like the, the clear but it does tend to stain, and it's clear. I mean, it's, I would say clean, but it doesn't look it, but it is, it's clear, and I clean it after every pup brush, but they do tend to just stain on the inside. Now, I can take some alcohol or take a cleaner and go send it down there, but the next smoke, it stains it up, so I don't do it every time. Obviously, it's just more work uh, for a pipe, but this is the first uh, new pipe uh, that I ever bought. I did have to do a little bit of work on it. Um, I don't recommend this, but I went ahead and did it. Um, the pipe at first was really snug, and it was, you know, very, very snug. I had to uh, sand it down just a little bit. I mean, just a little bit. Um, and then I had to take a find a drill bit to open up the draw hole. And I mean just a little, but it needed that extra opening up in order to make work. And it it, it smokes a lot better now. Um, I got this pipe early on where I didn't, I mean, not that I know what I'm doing now, but I really didn't know what I was doing then. Um, so I've had to ream it out. Let's see, I've been smoking about a year and a half. I had to ream it out twice. Um, just because I let it ghost or um, just didn't clean it properly or something like that. So it's it's had a little bit of a licking. I've taken a little bit of a beating uh, from uh, uh, since I bought it, but I, uh, you know, it's still my first new pipe and it just feels really good. Just feels really good. I think it looks good. Smokes good, looks good, feels good, is good. So uh, anyway, um, since I can't really go outside and uh, and smoke and take y'all with me, I figure I'd just do a little quick, uh, just show y'all, you know, one of my, again, another ritual uh, that I do just about how I load my pipe. Um, and I'm getting ready to go smoke this pipe. And I'm getting ready to smoke uh, what I call, we talked about it earlier, one of my blends I call Jamestown. Uh, this is technically Jamestown 2.0. I've had it for a while. Um, been right at three, three and a half weeks sitting in the mason jar. And um, we're just going to see what uh, what comes out. Um, not to take you with me, but I'll I'll give you a report back next time I next time I see you. It's uh, and I got my got my journal here <laughs> uh gets all my notes for all my blends and everything and uh it's a latakia Tur turkish latakia green river cavendish black virginia love black virginians uh turkish blend some red virginia and uh, just a dash of perique so it's jamestown 2.0 There's Latakia. I smell the reds. And it's either the, the black stove or the Turkish, but if it's there and it blends together pretty nicely. So I like that tin note. It's kind of a light, sweet, um, floral maybe, floral, uh, 
uh, English. So I've got my tobacco mat here. I picked up from a guy on Facebook that makes these and monograms them. If you're interested in it, hit me up on, uh, his name is Kyle Hansen. He's in the Facebook groups. And uh, he makes this and uh, a, a check tool with a pipe hole. It's really cool. So I'm not done with this on the kitchen table. My wife would kill me. That's a little too much. Little on the dry side. Probably should have put one of those little hydrator things in there. Um, so I do on mine always, uh, see if I can do this. I always do on mine. I always just kind of rub. I mean, I don't rub out deep and this one's even still loose cut, but I always just kind of rub, get my hands in it. Um, I always just kind of rub it, kind of even it out, kind of feel the texture, just kind of get the tobacco working. Um, and I picked up on mutton chop, uh, whenever he does his tobacco reviews, but before he smokes it, I will, uh, you know, just kind of rubbing it through. I get my tin note and then just kind of rubbing it. And then there's lots of different ways, as you probably know, on uh, to load a pipe. Um, I tend to do one or two. I tend to just do a sort of a version of the three pinch, um, you know, one like a baby, one like a lady, one like a, a gentleman. Um, I like that, but I mean, if you follow that strictly, my opinion, again, this is just my take. You follow that strictly, it doesn't really load, uh, load even. But the fundamentals of any of your pipe, uh, of any of your um, loading techniques is keep it in the bottom of the bowl here. Keep, keep sorry, wrong finger. Uh, keep it loose to make sure you get plenty of draw, that you're able to draw throughout the entire bowl, and then uh, keep it firm throughout. And some people do graduated throughout, you know, looser, loose, looser, firm, and firmer as it goes up. Uh, so you can kind of adopt a three pinch method to that, or the one, the other one I use is one I picked up off YouTube, well, Frank's method, but again, it's like a gravity load you know, just sprinkle it in until it's about halfway up. Um, and then you take a plug and you kind of create a plug out of the tobacco. You know, something like, something like that. Put it in and then uh, kind of work it down with your thumbs like that. And it does create an even uh, an even distribution on the and then, oh with Frank's method then they you know also say to you know, take it and spin it you know, put your thumb over the tobacco and spin it so the spin creates you know kind of evens it out and I, I, that's what I actually like I, the thing about Frank's method in my opinion I, I use it some um, don't really have a reason particular time to use it just sort of when I feel like it, it just gets messy that's just me but I do kind of like having more control over what goes in and how it gets distributed. Um, so I kind of do a three pinch and it's not, it's sometimes it's less than three. It's more than three. Uh, Cause I'll, I'll do small, very small pinches. So I can kind of control how it's, how it's loading up, but I do some pinches and this is actually kind of a bigger cut to back. Uh, um, Like that. And then sometimes on that top one, I'll kind of do a little frank. I'll just kind of spin it. But then just about with every bowl I do, just personal preference again, I even it, I kind of make it smooth across the top. Again, I'm not cramming it down, but I take it and I spin. Um, I really like that concept. I've found really good success. I very rarely have many issues uh, burning uh, with an uneven burn down the pipe down the um, bowl unless it's my cadence getting off so any any burn rate issues I might have are really my problem not the tobaccos I'd rather again I want to be in control so uh, spinning it like that 
I find fixes that a lot. It's a good, you know, kind of getting your mindset, kind of a nice little middle thing. Again, I'm just very loosely putting my finger across the top. And the way I like it, I'll try to there and get the light. Ah! Got some trimmings falling off there. But what I like is a nice flat surface that's tight but spongy. Um, uh, perfect. Like drinking a soda through a straw. It's a nice and perfect draw, nice spongy firm bowl. If the blend's any count, it'll be a good tobacco. So anyway, um, that's my video for the day. Hope y'all have a good one. Y'all keep on picking. Y'all keep on piping. And we'll see y'all next time. Take care.